There's more than one way to approach this project with lots of different wood finishes to choose from and looks also. I chose some pretty cheap long lasting wood. It's 150mm wide, 22 thick and it's treated board. So I needed 16 metres of wood to make this project work with some short lengths of batten also to perch the troughs on so that I could finally fix them in their place. When I cut the sides I changed my mind and added a bit of an angle to them so the final didn't look too boxy. In preparing the wood to be cut this way it was easy to prep. You can see here where there's an angle cut across the two end pieces. So the base is always 150mm and the top is always 170mm. So once I cut them I kept them in pairs and screwed the 150mm edge onto the bases, making sure that the 170mm edge faced towards the front on both ends. Next I attach the two 1 meter sides, the 1000 millimeter sides, doing the same for all four troughs. I pre-drilled and screwed the parts before screwing it all together. It felt less fiddly, especially as I was using an electric screwdriver. Once I completed the troughs, I drilled five large holes in the base of each trough to make sure that they had drainage. Because of the rough sawn look and finish, I decided to use some garden paint I had left over from painting some trellis. So both sanding and painting it, you wouldn't really know that this was cheap rough wood from a distance. Having read about it, I lined the trough with pond liner plastic as well. Laying the plastic on top of the box, I pierced all four corners and cut in towards them with scissors. Folding in the ends, I made a neat parcel-like fold that fitted inside the trough and tucked the tops in and tacked them with galvanised felt nails. Finally, I pierced the base for drainage holes over the top of the holes that I had drilled earlier. The next step was to make the sides the right length, angle and fit. That is to go under the winter sill. To get the angle right against the paving I angled the plank as I wanted it and I drew a parallel line using a set square against the paving slab. I then used the line to draw another parallel line, this time from the tip, or should we call it the toe, of the plank. I kept the cutting to use it later. So I set another plank against the wall at the point where I wanted the ladder to protrude to. Measuring from the toe to the underside of the sill gave me the measurement I needed to cut the final length to, and I marked this on the wood like so. Placing the wood I cut with the angled base, I drew the angle that I needed to cut so the ladder sat against the wall properly. I drew up the line by about 50 millimeters and this is a lip to create an edge on the wood for the upright to sit against the wall on. At this point I would say double check your measurements before you do the final cut. Once cut, check it fits and then mirror the design to make a second upright. my plan for the stacking of the troughs with the side lengths I had. It worked out at about 150mm for the troughs which we knew and 110mm gaps. 
with a 50mm gap at the foot of the ladder. I then marked up the two sides and I used the off-cut bit of wood that we had from earlier to make sure the lines I drew were parallel to the ground so the trough sat flat. I then pre-drilled the holes for the screws and pre-screwed and fitted the battens back to the front edge to make them less visible and then screwed them tight. With both uprights set I dropped in the troughs. And I fine tuned their positions on the battens making them protrude equally at the base. Once happy, I finally attach them securely to the ladder sides with screws. And now completed, I gave the whole thing one last coat of paint. On completing this project, I went on to make a smaller three-tier ladder, which I filled with some winter heather, winter pansies for colour, and some broad beans in the lower tier.